एवरीवन टुडे टुडे वी विल लर्न वन मोर लेसन फ्रॉम साइंस सो बिफोर नोइंग व्हिच लेसन वी आर स्टडीइंग लेट्स गो फॉर इंट्रोडक्शन एंड यू हैव टू टेल मी सो यू हैव टू गेस व्हिच लेसन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ओके सो नाउ आवर बॉडी आवर बॉडी इट वर्क्स लाइक अ मशीन इट्स जस्ट लाइक अ मशीन वी परफॉर्म डिफरेंट फंक्शंस इन आवर बॉडी जस्ट लाइक रीडिंग राइटिंग ईटिंग स्लीपिंग सो दीस आर ऑल वर्क्स ऑफ अवर बॉडी इज डन बाय डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ अवर बॉडी so there are many organs outside our body that are called as external organs for example our legs hands so these are all external parts and there are many organs which are working to day and night so to keep our body healthy so they are inside our body so they are called as internal organs for example heart lungs kidney so these are all um, and then um, liver these are all internal organs of our body now you can stand properly how you can stand properly what makes you stand firmly what are there inside our body which makes you stand properly walk properly so yes there are bones inside our body so there are a network of bones the bones they are jo joined together in a uh, particular framework and this gives us a particular shape to our body and these bones they are attached to our muscles so now see here, i can move my hand as my wish i can move my legs as my wish why how this happens so how the bones they move so these bones these bones they are attached to muscles so the attachment of the bones to the muscles helps in the movement of our body so now hope you understood about which lesson i am talking about yes children i am talking about the lesson bones muscles and movement so today we will study the third lesson bones muscles and movement so to make our uh, body healthy there are many systems in our body so just like a uh respiratory system so we have the different systems in the body respiratory system skeletal system nervous system muscular system circulatory system digestive system excretory system so these are all the different systems of in the our body so these are all systems they work properly just like a machine so in order to keep our body healthy if any of this system if any of this system uh, does not work properly it means our body it gets some problem okay so now we study also if all these systems you have studied in your first hand also so let us study about briefly about these systems now respiratory system What is the work of this respiratory system now? Yes, the respiratory system, as the name itself suggests, that it helps in the respiration, respiration process. Taking respiration means taking in of oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. During this process, the energy is released, and the main respiratory organs in our humans it is lungs. So, lungs, lungs helps in the respiration, and different uh, animals they have the different or. Uh, uh, respiratory system just like a, a fish so fish is an aquatic animal so aquatic animals they instead of having lungs they will have gills in their body so in order to take in the dissolved oxygen from the water so now skeletal system skeletal system is nothing but the uh, arrangement of skeletons or the bones inside our body which gives proper shape to our body so this skeletal system consists of muscles and bones muscles are attached to the bones which helps in the movement of our movement of different organs in our 
body. Next, nervous system. So, the nervous system it is connected to the brain. So, it helps in the process of thinking, feeling, uh, smile, and uh, then smiling. So, this such uh, things. Now, for example, if I want to uh, scold you or do any uh, thing quickly, so quickly the message is sent to the brain. So, when the brain it gets message, so what work we have to do? The brain immediately sends a message to the particular part, then the work will be done from that particular part. So, this all mechanism, it can, it happens in second of a time. So, within a second of a time. So, quick the process. So, this nervous system. Next, muscular system. Muscular system means, so, the, it helps in the movement of our body. Next, circulatory system. So, circulatory system is responsible for transporting nutrition. So, nutrition from uh, nutrition and other substances to different parts to, to of our body. So, it's uh, even it circulates blood, oxygenated blood from the heart to different parts of our body. <coughs> Next, it involves mainly heart and other nerves. And digestive system. The digestive system it helps in the digestion of the food. So the different organs or the uh, digestive canals are involved in this process of digestive system. <coughs> and then, so all these uh, systems they are uh, correlated means they work together to keep our body healthy. For example, I'll give you an example. Uh, if you take the examples of nervous system, nervous system can only work with the help of the muscular system. Different muscles are, uh, helps in the process of this nervous system. So, and muscular system can only work with the help of the circulatory system. Many circulatory systems, the organs in the circulatory system helps in the process of this muscular system. So, so all these processes or the systems, they work together, they are related together. Now, the skeletal system and the muscular system work together. The muscles they are attached to the bones and they help in the movement of the body. So, in this chapter now, we will study about the skeletal system and um, how the muscles, the how the muscles helps in the movement of our body. Now, we go for, now mainly in this we are not going to study about all the systems in our body. So, mainly in this lesson, we are going to study about the skeletal system. Okay. The skeletal system. inside our body and there were all these bones that uh, uh, formed in a proper manner to give a proper shape to our body. So in the last uh, year we have studied how many bones are there in our body? Yes, there are 206 bones. 206 bones are there in our body. An adult person. So an adult person has 206 bones in our body. Even I told you about the longest bone which is the longest bone in our body and even the smallest bone also. So, we will uh, study about this thing. Next. Okay, first now. So, these bones uh, are hard. They are made up of mainly uh, calcium and phosphorus. So, these bones they are mainly made up of calcium and phosphorus. So, these calcium and phosphorus makes the bo these bones strong and this hardness it gives support and protects uh, our body. So, these uh, bones they are hard and this hardness of the bones helps in giving the proper shape to our body and also giving proper support to our body and also uh, gives protection to our body. Now, so the interior if you see the so, if you see this is a bone, bones are hollow, okay, hollow inside. We can see inside the bones they are soft, they are soft and spongy, okay. Inside the bone, some bones, not all bones, some bones they are inside them, they are very soft and spongy. So, we call them as a bone marrow, bone marrow, 
So bone marrow. What's the work of this bone marrow then? So I told you this one is the fourth standard. What's the work of the bone marrow? So the bone marrow uh, it produces different cells, blood cells. Bone marrow it produces different blood cells just like RBC and WBC. So in my next video we we'll continue this chapter. Thank you.